Mysterious Stranger asks, do you remember any funny stories from school of being in detention or being sent to the principal's office? Well, can I can I say can I start with this one? Yeah. Um every every I was on detention every week cuz I was like a class clown asshole kid that everyone hated but I thought everyone liked me. Uh, so I was trying to be funny. I was the kid who made the cl the cat noise. It went, Ow, when the teacher turned around too. Oh, why did you do that? I was just a little shithead for no reason. So I was in detention every goddamn week. <laughs> why did you do that? Cat noise is a fucking bizarre one. Yeah, I don't I could like call the teacher a nigger or something but missing <laughs> cat noise. Oh, I know. I never do that. Um, Not a black teacher. I, I Once I was kicked out of class. Like I was in the back of the classroom with a mini chalkboard and a piece of chalk, and every time they wrote on the chalkboard, I'd do it too, but like really loud, and they'd hear, like they'd get confused, and they'd turn around, and I'd hide it behind my back. Yeah, we had, I had teach, <laughs> I, I, like we had teachers that were young um, that were just out of college, so they had to have an inspector every few months to like just watch how they teach the class, mm -hmm. and every one of those teachers requested me to be kicked out of the class for just that class because they knew I'd like mess. Like I was a wow. little, I, a fucking Bart Simpson little shithead. But anyway, we weren't allowed to speak English in school and uh what I'm sorry excuse me yeah we weren't allowed to speak English oh you had to speak Gaelic yeah we had to speak Gaelic so we had to be uh say oh, Gaelic no it's Gaelic I was just Gaelic. Being a little bit more authentic here Gaelic no we don't say that we say Irish it's Gaelic but I had detention every week um because <laughs> it was on Fridays after school <laughs> and uh, I remember one week I was just there in detention and then they were reading out the role and they're like no your name isn't on the list I just went to detention even if I, like I just thought I had it I just assumed I you had it you were going so much that you were just like Pavlov's it was, dog it was it I was just well oh. um my I have I don't really have that many experiences because I was all, I've, I've always been very good if I was ever too drunk or hung over to go to class I just didn't go at all so I didn't really wait. get in trouble very often what drunk yes in high school yes oh yeah yes. I started drinking and smoking when I was 14 that was Malaysia that was most of the people that I went to school with were also doing that but no as far as the stories are concerned when I was in elementary school, I got a timeout. For being drunk? <laughs> yeah. No, um, I actually got in trouble because it was mainly my stepfather's fault for teaching me a phrase called it's only pain. And there was a, a young girl who had fallen off the monkey bars and everyone was crowded around her. And I remember I knelt, knelt down next to her and I, and I just, I put my hand on her shoulder and I was like, it's okay, it's okay. It's only pain. And my teacher looked at me very confused and was like, hey, Mick, can you come with me? And then she pulled me aside and explained to me that that was insensitive and that you can't say things like that. Um, I understand the principle of what she was upset about. And I, I do. Don't. Under, I think it was the idea of like, she's not allowed to cry. Like I said something that was less than. No, you were like, it's only pain. Pain fades. You'll be fine. See, that was the mentality, obviously. But I guess in elementary school, that sounds creepy oh, or they so don't like it. I, like, shut up. It's only, maybe I said it wrong. you whispered into her ear? No, like, maybe I screamed it at her or like, something. Did you I don't like know. stroke her hair while you said it? Yeah, it was like fingering her fucking <laughs> ear. <laughs> and that was it. That's the only story. I, I mean, I've been suspended yourself, from Zach, school. school. Zach, did you ever tell the story about um, when you went to detention because you rode your motorcycle into class? That was back when you were always wearing like two pairs of sunglasses yes, and you had that true. really badass leather jacket with the spikes on the shoulders. It's true. It was uh, it was football class, football and weed class. They were, they were one class. <laughs> and I basically rode the motorcycle right into a girl's puss and she came instantly, obviously. Dude. Probably because my 12 inch dick hit her first before the motorcycle. Did you ever? And basically, uh, the teacher said, I, Dude, I award you with five weeds because you've been such a fucking cool piece of you Tell a story where you and then, and then you wrote it. Your whole motorcycle just backflipped out a window. I backflipped it exactly, and I, <laughs> I, I basically I fucked a hundred girls that day in that minute. It was a big deal. One it was minute, kind of, who, minute man. Who well, was, you know, they all got up 30 ooh, times each. Ooh, that's not very They long. changed the school mascot to Zach on a motorbike. They changed this mascot to be laying back with my asshole dick exposed. <laughs> Girls come all over it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna bounce through these as quickly as possible. We have the bittersweet right. prince asks if you were dating someone who revealed that they could turn into any person or creature from real life or fantasy, but had to stay that way for a year. Who would you ask them to turn into? I would have to turn to myself <laughs> so that I would kill that person so I could finally know what it's like to kill somebody and the police could arrest me because it, it's me. They'd be like, there's no way it's, like, it makes no sense. I couldn't have killed myself. That would actually make a good plot to the film. And then, because... I, could, and then I could, like, people would assume I'm dead like go to my own funeral. Yeah. I, I'd turn them into a, a genie. But then a year later when they open up that grave to exhume it, they discover it was the body of somebody else. Actually, it'd just be Why a skeleton. Why the fuck they could exhume it? I don't know. They would exhume it. I would just walk around in a different place because I'd be I'd be free. I'd be off the grid, man. I'm dead. If you fuck it, if I drive a hammer through my own skull, no one's gonna do that. You were do. dating this person, by the way. Yeah, You're I know. a jerk. Well, I guess I'd you weren't in love with them. You were I'd, just dating them. No, I'd them. fuck them first, and then I. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't fuck them as me. I'd yeah, no, you already said it. You already said it. It's I wouldn't fuck late. myself. 
You did. I'd be a little bitch if I fucked myself. I couldn't do it. I'd be complaining the whole time. You'd fuck yourself and you'd feel so guilty and disgusted that you'd have to murder yourself. I'd kill myself to get rid of the shame. Yeah. I now, turn, what are you? I'd turn him into a genie. The genie from Aladdin? No, not that genie. Just a hot genie. Yeah, I don't know if they actually acquire the powers, though. They just look like somebody. Yeah, just yeah physical... but then you can keep her in the lamp and then bring her out. No, no, no. You, no, you would literally be shoving a human into a lamp. Like, there'd just be blood and guts it's, it's, everywhere. It's a really good cosplay. It's, it's amazing prosthetics, basically. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. They can look like anybody. They didn't actually try. And otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, they turn into a solid gold brick. Yeah. And then I just sell them. It's a person or like a, like a fictional. Yeah. And it's only one year. The, after the year goes, it expires. I guess I turn them into um, Lord of the Rings elf because they're pretty hot, right? Yeah. They're, they're hot. If you like the See, pointy the ear thing. The, the problem, How do they hide them with the hair? The problem is that if you make it anything too weird, the people, they can't leave the house. Yeah. Because people, be, the scientists look fucking, they, the government they just, They're just glowing. That's all they do. They do glow a little bit. They have big fucking elf ears. Wouldn't yeah, that suck at night hair. if you're trying to sleep next to an elf and they're just glowing the but whole time? Put downstairs on you're the like, couch. Dude, can you like turn that down and throw a blanket over turn your, your face? Turn your fucking Kindle off there. Oh, it's just you. Never mind. Yeah. Sweet. Put her, put her <laughs> on the couch. That's what I want. You fucking glow. You're like, you? For me? Yeah. If I was dating someone and they could transform into anybody, I would ask them to transform your, your into old dog, Heidi. <laughs> no, asshole. I would I would ask them to transform into no one. I would ask them to transform into who they are because oh shut up. You know what? They're Ooh. they're beautiful. They're beautiful. You really the answer Maggie Joan Hall. That's your real answer. Fucking dogs assholes. Let me tell you something. Let me let me, let me tell you something about someone you're dating. I'm gonna promise you one motherfucking thing. If you were dating someone and they said, "Hey, I can transform into anyone you want," it's a goddamn trick question. Yeah. The moment you tell them, "Oh, I wish you could turn into Angelina Jolie," they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's a great answer." And guess what? Fuck you. Go fuck Angelina Jolie. I'm out.